hello guys in today's video i'm gonna go over some basics of limits of functions and first of all let's talk about what is the limit so limit is the y value that a function approaches when the input of the function gets close to a particular value from either side let's say limit of fx as x goes to 2 and it can be represented or it can be denoted by limit x approaches to 2 of f of x so this is the value which fx gets close to as this x gets close to 2 many times this is just f of 2 but not always okay so let's say we got a function f of x and limit I'm gonna say limit x approaches to 2 is equal to x minus 1 so find the limit of this function okay so we will see what happened to this fx as x gets closer and closer to 2 from both sides okay so let me let me draw a number line over here let's say this is a number line this is 2 so as x is approaching towards 2 from let's say left hand side and same thing as x is approaching to 2 from right hand side what is the value of this function or what is the y value okay so I'm gonna make a table over here just to show you what I'm talking about okay so we're gonna plug in the value of x over here okay starting from left and right and then we're gonna find the value of this function f of x okay so let, let's make a table over here so let me make a table so I got x values here and I got f of x values over here okay so let's say if x is equal to 1.9 okay so I'm going from this side towards 2 and then I got 1.99 okay so we are getting more closer to 2 and now I got 1.99 and 9 so I'm almost close to 2 there okay now let's say same thing we are approaching 2 from right hand side so 2.1 let's say 2.01 and 2.001 so we are approaching 2 from right hand side so we're getting closer to 2 so when x is 1.9 and we plug in that value over here 1.9 so that gives me fx is equal to 0 0.9 and when we plug in 1.99 this gives me 0 0.99 and then we got 0 0.999 and then when it's 2.1 we got 1.1 and here we got 1.01 and for this number we got 1.001 so that tells me so like we can notice that from the table that as x as x gets close to 2 as x getting close to 2 from either side fx the value of fx is getting closer to 1 you see you notice that it's going towards 1 from both sides so somewhere here there's a 1 okay so that means that means the limit of limit of f of x as x approaches to 2 is equal to 1 so that's the answer okay so that's how we can find the limit of a function now we're gonna do a couple of examples okay so let's start with the easy one so let me go to the next page so I got I got a function over here so limit x approaches to 2 and the function is 3 minus x so in this case just plug in x is equal to 2 so that gives me 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 that's simple okay let's do one more so let's say I got 
limit x approaches to 3 and the function is x into x plus 1 all right so let's plug in x 3 there so 3 into 3 plus 1 gives me 3 times 4 is equal to 12 all right let's let's move on two more and let's say I got limit and x approaches to 0 and here I got 3x plus 1 over x plus 3 so that gives me uh, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 3 so the limit of this function is 1 over 3 now I'm gonna go over a special case okay so let's say let's say I got a limit x approaches to 2 and the function is x cube minus 4x square plus 4x divided by x square minus 4 okay so in this case if you just plug in 2 in the numerator and denominator that gives me 0 over 0 and this kind of form of a function we call it indeterminate form okay so whenever we plug in this limit value into the function we get 0 over 0 or let's say infinity over infinity or negative infinity over infinity or negative infinity here so something like that whenever we get indeterminate form then the function must be solved further in order to evaluate the limit so what we're gonna do let's say we got 0 over 0 as in this case what do we need to do we need to make we need to find the factors of the numerator and denominator and solve or cancel out the common factors and then substitute the limit of the function okay then we can find the limit so in this case for example in this case we got 0 over 0 okay so what we're gonna do over here let me find some space here okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna rewrite it and start from the top okay so we got uh, we got function with the limit x approaches to 2 and we got x cube minus 2x square sorry my bad it was minus 4x square I already made the factors okay 4x over x square minus 4 so as I said when we plug in x is equal to 2 here we got 0 over 0 so what we're gonna do we need to factorize the numerator and denominator okay so let's do it so we got limit x approaches to 2 and here we got x cube and we can break down this into 2x square minus 2x square plus 4x and numerator can be sorry denominator can be written as x square minus 2 square okay so this gives me over here I believe you guys know how to make factors if not watch my other video I made a video how to factor trinomials or quadratic equations okay so let's take x out and this gives me x minus 2x and then I got minus 2 x square minus 2x and a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b so in our case a is x and b is 2 so x minus 2 and x plus 2 okay so the numerator will give me x minus 2 into x minus 2x so we made the factors of numerator and denominator i already know x minus 2 into x plus 2 so what we can do over here see the common factor can cancel out okay so we left with x minus 2x so from the numerator what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take x common out from these two factors so this gives me one sorry something oh x square see 
So that gives me x minus 2 over x plus 2. Okay, so now we got limit x approaches to 2 x into x minus 2 over x plus 2. And now if we plug in x is equal to 2 over here, this gives me 0 into 0 minus 2 gives me 0 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. So this is not in determined form. Okay, and this is basically equal to 0. Therefore, the limit of this function is equal to 0. All right, let's do a couple more examples. Then we will be good to go. All right, let's do one more. So I got limit x approaches to 1 and we got x cube minus 1 over x minus 1. Again, if I plug in 1 here for x, that gives me 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So again, I got 0 over 0. So I need to make the factors of uh, numerator here because denominator is already like simple factor which is x minus 1. So what we can do? So we're going to use the formula a cube minus b cube. So that gives me limit x approaches to 1. So x cube minus 1 can be written as x minus 1 into x square plus x plus 1. And in the denominator we already got x minus 1. All right, so these two will cancel out common factors. Okay, so we're left with, therefore, limit x approaches to 1 of x square plus x plus 1. And when we plug in x equal to 1 there, we got 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So that's, that's the answer. So limit of this function is okay. So let's do a couple more. I'm gonna do one more example. So this one looks like I got limit x approaches to 0 and in the numerator I got 1 plus x minus 1 over x. Okay so again when we plug in x 0 there this gives me 1 minus 1 which is 0 and x is 0 there gives me 0 again so I got 0 over 0 form so I need to simplify this all bit further I'm gonna find the common factor somehow okay let's do it and we're gonna do it this way so limit x approaches to 0 whenever you see something like that multiply and divide this function by the conjugate of this one okay so let's say 1 plus x minus 1 over x right I'm going to multiply it by 1 plus x plus 1. I'm going to divide it by the same number. Because this does not going to change the function in overall. Okay. So in the numerator, I got a minus b into a plus b, which is basically a square minus b square. So 1 square root of 1, 1 plus x square minus 1 square. In the denominator, I got x into root 1 plus x plus 1. All right. And the square root cancel the square. I left with 1 plus x minus 1 over x into root of 1 plus x plus 1 in the numerator. Okay. So this gives me limit x approaches to 0. I forgot to write the limit over here. So there is supposed to be limit x approaches 0. So does there. So I, I left with 1 will cancel this one. So left with x over x into root of 1 plus x plus 1. Okay. So this x cancel out this x over here. So we left with this is equal to limit x approaches to 0 1 over root of 1 plus x plus 1. Okay, now if we plug in x 0 there as x approaches 0 there, so we're left with 1 over x is 0, let's say 1 plus 1. So root 1 gives me 1 plus 1. 
this is equal to 1 over 2 so that's the answer okay so that's how you can solve problem that have function that looks like this one okay last problem so in this problem we got a function that tells me let's say limit x approaches to a and the function is x raised to power 9 minus a raised to power 9 over x minus a and this is equal to another limit which is limit x approaches to 5 and we got 4 plus x and they said find a find the value of this a over here okay so to solve problem that looks like this we're going to use a formula or a theorem in a limits and there is a proof to that too so we're going to use limit as x approaches to a and function is x raised to power n minus a raised to power n over x minus a and this is equal to n a raised to power n minus 1 you guys can remember make it as a flashcard and remember this because you can solve a lot of problems using this theorem okay so on left hand side on left hand side I got our n is 9 here okay so everything looks same just n is a 9 so that means the limit of left hand side is 9 like n and in our case it is 9 a raised to power 9 minus 1 that gives me 8 so 9 a raised to power 8 and right hand side is basically plug in 5 there 4 plus 5 gives me 9 okay so if I divide both sides by 9 therefore a raised to power 8 is equal to 1 okay so this gives me a raised to power 4 basically is equal to plus minus 1 okay now either a raised to power 4 is negative 1 then a square is equal to plus or minus imaginary number the negative one square gives me imaginary number and we're gonna we don't want that imaginary number so we're gonna reject that number okay so we're gonna reject that one now if a raised to power 4 from here is positive 1 then we got a square a square is equal to plus or minus 1 right and now now, now let's work on this thing over here if a square is equal to negative 1 then then my a is equal to plus minus imaginary number again as I got over here the square root of negative 1 is imaginary number and we don't want imaginary number so we're gonna we're gonna reject that value so we don't want this so now the second part is a square is also equal to positive 1 so therefore this gives me a is equal to plus minus 1 so that's the value of a for this function okay so they can ask a problem in different ways they can change the power over here and change right hand side so can make it in a way different ways okay but but the basic or the formula or the theorem you need to remember is this one over here okay all right thanks for watching the video guys please share and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any other video i'm gonna make more videos on like finding left hand side and right hand side functions limit uh, limit like approaching from both sides and then limits of trigonometric functions so please subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss those videos and there will be plenty of examples too okay thank you have a good day bye bye